This is not my natural hair color. This is hair dye applied one. There are three basic chemical formulations of hair dye. Temporary. Semi-permanent and. Permanent. Before we look at what each of them do. Let's look at the physical structure of hair. Hair is dead stuff three layers of slightly different dead stuff. Dot medulla is the innermost structure, gives strength to hair shaft. It's surrounded by a thick layer of cells, called the cortex. It's where you find the pigmented melanin proteins, that give hair its color. Protecting the cortex is hair's outermost layer, the cuticle. It acts as hair's armor, it's made up of overlapping scales. These scales can be manipulated. You see scales can push upward and downwards. We can't see it with naked eye, have to use a microscope for this. Temporary dye just sticks to the cuticle it's more like paint really and it'll usually last till your next shampoo. Semi-permanent dye. It contains molecules of pigment so tiny, that they can slip between the scales of the cuticle and stick to the cortex but it's still more paint-like. It doesn't chemically react with anything in the hair so a semi-permanent dye lasts about. 12 Shampoos Permanent dye, as the name suggests is designed to stay with your hair until the hair grows or falls. Permanent dye consists of two solutions first an alkaline chemical, plus two types of particles that will come together to form the new color dye. Precursors and dyes couplers second the developer and oxidizer usually a week. Solution of Hydrogen Peroxide The two solutions mix together right before applying them to your hair. The alkaline chemical A either ammonia or a more gentle substitute goes to work opening up the cuticle for dye. To be effective it needs to access hair's cortex, alkaline stuff temporarily softens and relaxes the cuticle scales. The next step is achieving a new hair color. For that we need getting rid of some of the existing color the melanin in the hairs. Melanin in the hair cortex gives your color, the melanin molecules breaking melanin's double carbon-carbon electron bonds, and giving up one of its own. The melanin turns colorless and releases sulfur atoms that's right part of permanent dyes. The new color molecules by oxidizing the dye precursors these are usually colorless. Chemicals that develop color when oxidized the resulting pigmented particles, called intermediates are monomers. They slip through the cuticle scales like semi-permanent dye, but the dye couplers react with the intermediates to form polymers of pigment that are too big to just slip back out. That's how permanent color resists fading through multiple washes. It's trapped beneath the cuticle so that. That's it how hair dye works.